So, Diablo 2 Patch 2.4 uh, has just dropped, and Nihilus Charms are easier to find than ever. And I'm just gonna go in now saying you probably know what the deal is with the Nihilus Charms, selling SOJs to merchants and then having D clones spawn on your server. Well, I'm here to tell you that I can help you to farm these things into the ground. So, what you wanna do you want to use this website right here, this Diablo2.io D-Clone Tracker app, okay? And what you got on this app is, uh, is a list of whether you're expansion, hardcore, softcore, non-expansion. This right here is how close the Diablo clone is to spawning in your server. What you want to look for here is fives. When you get a five, then you log into the game and you can just wait there for a few hours and chances are uh, Diablo clone will spawn on, uh, on your server. But we're going to take it like 10 steps beyond that. We're going we're gonna to make this as painless as possible. So what you're going to want to do is, uh, uh, for me, I'm going to filter this down to non-ladder, soft core, expansion, because those are the only ones I care about. I'm going to apply those filters and you notice that it changes your URL here. But what it does is it gives you just the servers you care about, Europe, Americas, and Asia. Now you might not know this, but uh, in the Diablo 2 launcher, you can actually select your server and your same characters at their same level can go to those servers. So you can actually hit the Asia server and the Europe server even if you're in the Americas server, like uh, I happen to be most of the time. Looks like the Europe server is about to pop. But instead of sitting around here and just waiting all day, what I've done is I've cracked open some Python here. Yeah, baby. So uh, what I have actually done is uh, that URL we were just looking at, uh, I've got, okay, so here we've got uh, just a defined, you, you'll see what that is later, but the heart and soul of this program is we use a cloud, a cloud scraper. Now, uh, this is because this website happens to be guarded by Cloudflare, and if you try to make like a curl request or a Python requests uh, call to it, you'll end up getting a different website, like Cloudflare telling you that, oh, you need to prove who you are. Well, this program right here is good for, or like this, this library right here is good for scraping Cloudflare sites. And then the library Beautiful Soup is good for parsing HTML. So what I'm doing is that information we just looked at right here, 326, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, straight up, you know, scrape through that. I'm going to find all the TRs, those are the table rows, and then uh, the span with ZI and uh, the code command here. Like that's all just uh, DOM scraping. Like these are all these are the TRs. These are the TRs. I think this thing is going to be called a code if we inspect element. Yeah. So those codes happen to be that. So I'm pulling this out here, and I'm pulling these words out here: Europe, Americas, Asia. And uh, that's what that scraper does. So it goes through here and it scrapes, and if it finds if it finds any of those that have the number five in uh, uh, inside the code piece, what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, we're gonna say, hey, we're we're in it to win it, boys. In whatever region we found it in, we're gonna pop open the Diablo 2 resurrected launcher. Uh, using Python subprocess, and then we're going to use an automation library called uh, Pi Auto GUI, and we're going to use that to click around and wait uh, on, you know, pictures. These pictures that I've taken pictures of in the UI, uh, we're going to use an uh, open CV to just kind of look at those and click around. So that way, when it comes time to clone Diablo, we'll, uh, we'll log in, we'll click the region button, we'll click whatever region button happens to have Diablo 2 spawning, which will change our re region, we'll click the play button, we'll sleep for a little while while it loads, then we'll press the enter key a few times, uh, then after we see the press any key on the screen, uh, we'll press the any key. Then uh, we, we should be logged in at that point. We'll wait until we, 
see the play other button, or sorry, the play button, then we'll select hell difficulty, and then we'll just exit the program, and our character will straight up be in Diablo 2. So we can, we can see what that looks like. I got this thing running in the background here. Uh, so it has been scraping every, uh, I've got it 600 seconds, every, uh, every 10 minutes or so, it's been scraping through here. Uh, and it sees that Europe has been on three out of six. Well, just to debug it, let's go ahead and we'll log into uh, the European server by just, uh, we'll just change what the data actually sees here. So, let's log out of there. Let's see how this auto program works. We're gonna, all right, so it found that, if it's scraping the website, it found that we need to log into the European site, clicks the play button there, waits a few seconds, uh, it should click on this to skip through it, and it does, and it clicks again here. And then once it sees the press any button, uh, it's just going to click on that. Mm -hmm. I've got it set up to just wait on these things. Yeah, so it clicks on there. Now we're connecting to Battle.net. Then it's going to look for the play button in the lobby screen. Here we go. It looks for the play button. Then when it finds that, it clicks on that. It looks for the hell button clicks on that, and now we're in a game. So, with this, now I can be AFK, I can be at work, and uh, if Diablo spawns, or is about to spawn, my, pro my computer will just log me into a game on whatever server uh, Diablo is going to spawn in, and then... Uh, terror begins to form within Sanctuary, because I guess we're in... Three out of six. <laughs> so that is how... Oh yeah, and then, you know, you, you kill Diablo with whatever strong character you got. He's not that hard, but you will need a lot of skill levels and, you know, maybe these potions. But the real trick for farming Annihilus Charms is to automate this in some way. I also suggest maybe using Twilio to send you a text message uh, when this happens. But, uh, yeah... Oh, and then let's check out the console output. Yeah, while it was looking for stuff, just waiting for things to, to load, and when it finds it, presses the button, all that jazz. So, wonderful there. That is how you farm Annihilus Charms, baby. That's how you do it. I'll see you next time. This has been Lord Tony.